Here's a 1798 picture of what an American Indian looked like. Damn. Kind of look like fucking Shannon Sharp, you know? Could be somebody related to me. You know, black, copper color, you know? Original man. Well, they stay putting this shit right in our face, too. Y'all see this? Cleveland Indian mascot. Black boy. I mean, why would they call them Seminole Indians if they weren't real Indians? I mean, we got to start using logic here, my people. More receipts, baby. More receipts. Look black to me. 1957 picture. $5 Indian proof right here, how they was still on our birthright, still on our fucking land. More receipts. A few more pictures of copper colored Aboriginal people. You know, they whitewashed every fucking thing, guys. Come on. This is not to take nothing away from Native Americans, but black people, we were already here. We're Aboriginal to this land. Peace. Hey, this is a double back again about this $5 Indian shit. Y'all see that word says Australia, you know, y'all come on back in this comment. American, the one below that, African. All these people right here below the bottom and the top right there, melanated people. Get the fuck over it. Another American statue right here. You know, black person. You know, that's a misnomer. Melanated people. We really come in different shades of brown. But we're going to roll with calling ourselves black right now for teaching moments. Y'all can be mad all you want, but the facts are there. Y'all see that? What does it say? American Indian statue. Virginia Historical Society. Go look this shit up. I mean, they, they clearly put all this information in our faces. You, we got to just tap in and, and, and do the work, y'all. Another statue of depiction of what an original American Indian looked like. You know, melanated. Here's a, another statue of someone that would have been reclassified as a Negro. You know, a black today. Come on, y'all. We was already everywhere. Period. Tap in with me right here. Y'all know I'm going to keep bringing the knowledge. In this book, it talks about swarthy type people. And, and you look up the definition. It's talking about dark-skinned people. Uh, page 33 through 36. Bartholomew Gosnold. He talks about the people that he uh, encountered uh, in Maine. Tap in. Read the whole book, though. This, this is big, big, big God knowledge in this book. I'm going to keep bringing it to the forefront and keep showing you that copper color people, dark skinned people, Negroes, whatever you want to call us, we're here as well. Here's a statue of Bartholomew. When he encountered the Indians in Maine, you know, Cape Nedoc, Maine, he described them as dark, swart complexion. Think about that for a second. Just go look up the definition of swarthy. Like, we know what's up. Tap into this, y'all. Tap in. Big, big guy knowledge right here. Tap in. Hey, I need y'all to tap in with me on this one right here. This is about an Italian explorer and what he documented when he came to the Americas. Definitely pause on page seven. And look who he described the people as and what they look like. You know, these are receipts right here that are vital to us, black people. Like, we were native here. We were all on the coast. And it was it's well documented. These white supremacists you know, have tried to hide this history, you know, and whitewash us out to steal our fucking land. This is more receipts. Here's a picture of him right here, Giovanni. Y'all go check him out. Y'all go check him out. It's big God energy in this book. And then we exposing all this fraudulent ass fucking shit this government has done to us. Tap in.